Canned small engine fuel is a scam, and here's why. I wanna start by explaining the difference between non-ethanol fuel, pump gas, and canned fuel. So pump gas contains 10% ethanol most of the time, unless you can find a non-ethanol gas pump, which will be clearly marked. Why is ethanol important, you ask? So let's say you leave gas in your weed eater, and you put it away in November, and you get it out in April or whatever. You get it out and it runs like crap, you give it gas and it just bogs down and dies. That's not a problem with the gas, it's a problem with the ethanol in the gas. Gasoline in general is hydrophobic. It does not bond with water. It wants nothing to do with water. But the 10% ethanol in your gas is hydrophilic, which means it likes water and it wants to be with water. It wants to bond with water. So that act of the condensation in the air gradually bonding with the ethanol in the gasoline, that mixture is what degrades fuel lines, carburetor diaphragms, and that's what causes gunk and varnish to build up in carburetors. So you take apart a line more carburetor, it's just full of goo and gunk, and you don't know what the heck it is. That's from ethanol, that's not from the gas. So now you understand why ethanol fuel is not great for small engines. But that's not to say that you can't use ethanol fuel. If you use ethanol fuel during the season when you're using your equipment, and then you just simply store it with non-ethanol fuel, that's fine. So the way to do that would be, the last time you're gonna use your equipment, dump the gas out of it, fill it up with some non-ethanol fuel, and just use it the last time with that, and you're good to store it. So now let's go over some ways that you can cheaply obtain non-ethanol fuel to avoid problems with your small engines. The first way is to go to puregas.org, pure-gas.org. I'll link it in the description and see if there's a pump that just sells it near you. And thankfully that's what I have. I have a pump that sells non-ethanol fuel near you. A lot of places don't, it's fairly uncommon. You can actually make your own non-ethanol fuel. There's a lot of videos on YouTube how to make non-ethanol fuel. And it goes back to that whole ethanol is hydrophilic, gasoline is hydrophobic. The process is to get a big jug, a clear jug of, uh, you know, one of those water jugs that you see at like offices or whatever is perfect. Install a spigot on the very bottom, mix in a bunch of water with the gas, and that will bond with the ethanol and it will stay at the bottom of that container. You can then turn the spigot on and all of that will come out and just leave gas. So that's another way to do it. And like I said, you can just maybe find a pump near that sells it. The third option and the most expensive option is canned fuel. This stuff here. Now, I didn't buy this. This came from a job I used to work at as a small engine mechanic, and they would buy it. And I just used this to fill up with gas. But that's kind of what you get. This jug here would be about $80, and that's a five gallon jug. It's usually $20 a gallon or $10 a quart. The more you buy, you get a bit of a discount, I guess. But it comes in a bunch of different brands. You get True Fuel, you get this VP stuff, and, and still moto mix which people are fanatical about you either use it and think it is the greatest stuff ever and probably drink it and huff it or you think it's dumb and i think it's dumb now let's talk about why so like i said before it is ethanol that causes carburetor problems so non-ethanol fuel gets rid of it i mean you can't let your equipment sit for years and years and expect non-ethanol fuel to still be good but it's not gonna degrade carburetor components like ethanol fuel will. So how then is still moto mix superior to non-ethanol fuel? It's not. They claim this VP can here says 94 octane. Why on earth would you need 94 octane for your leaf blower or your chainsaw? These things are designed to run on garbage 87 octane fuel or in some cases, premium gas. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what octane you put in there. As long as it's at least 87, it'll be fine. And these, these companies try and say, well, the octane would make it run better. I've never noticed any kind of a difference with different octane fuel. The only time that I've ever had to use 93 is in my 89 Ford Ranger that spark knocks on 87. These companies also claim that 
their premix fuel has the best quality two cycle oil it'll keep your engine alive for the longest time i don't care if there's liquid gold in there it's 20 dollars a gallon you can buy the highest quality two cycle oil imaginable and it'll be cheaper to mix it yourself with your own non-ethanol fuel that you either got from a pump or made yourself than it would be to buy these cans of fuel the only time buying canned fuel is in any way useful is if you're just going to use a little bit of it for your last tank of fuel that year to store your equipment otherwise canned fuel is a total scam don't let these people that work at small engine shops and dealers tell you that still moto mix is the way of the lord just do your own research be your own person don't fall victim to these scams I'd also like to quickly talk about another time when canned fuel may be the right thing. And that's if you live really far away from a non-ethanol pump and you're just using your weed eater or your leaf blower very rarely. And you know, one gallon or something will last you a whole year. That's a great time to buy a can of fuel. But in any other case, it's a total waste of money. Don't let the dealerships tell you otherwise. Thanks.